Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Suppose you have a list of numbers and you want to identify the first or last positive or negative number within that list. This could be useful when processing financial transactions or analyzing datasets where you need to find the earliest occurrence of a positive or negative value. In today's video, we will show you the way to identify the first or last positive or negative number in a list of numbers. 1. Find the first positive number by formula. 2. Find the last positive number by formula. 3. Find the first negative number by formula. 4. Find the last negative number by formula. Find the first positive number by formula. In this video, we use the combination of index and match functions, which is as particularly useful when performing lookups in large datasets, working with non-sequential data. Here's how you can do it. Assuming your number list is in column A, starting from cell A2, enter the following formula in an empty cell. Equals index A2, A10, match, true, A2, A10 greater than 0, 0. By combining the index and match functions, you can dynamically retrieve data from a range based on certain criteria. The match function is used to determine the position of the criteria, in this case, the lookup value is logical true, and the lookup value is that A2. A10 greater than 0 which returns an array consisting of true and false, the last argument 0 is the match type, which performs an exact match. Finally, the match function returns the position of the first positive number and delivers that position to the index function, which uses it to fetch the corresponding value. Press enter to get the result. Here, the formula is an array formulas, so in some Excel lower versions, remember to press Ctrl plus Shift plus enter instead of just enter after entering the formula. This formula searches for the first occurrence of a positive number in range A2, A10 and returns that value. Find the last positive number by formula. Assuming your number list is in column A, starting from cell A2, enter the following formula in an empty cell. Equals index A2, A10, max, if A2, A10 greater than 0, row, a2, A10, minus row, A2, plus 1. This formula uses the index function to retrieve the value from the range A2 to A10 based on the row number specified. The row number is determined using the max function in combination with the if function. The if function checks each value in the range A2 to A10 to see if it is greater than 0. If a value is positive, it returns the corresponding row number, otherwise, it returns false. The row, A2 to A10, minus row, A2, plus 1 part calculates the relative row numbers within the range A2 to A10. Row, A2 to A10, returns an array of row numbers, and row, A2, returns the starting row number, 2 in this case. By subtracting the starting row number and adding 1, we get the relative row numbers within the range A2 to A10. The max function then finds the maximum row number from the resulting array of positive values. Finally, the index function uses the maximum row number to retrieve the last positive number from the range A2 to A10. Press enter to get the result. Find the first negative number by formula. Select a blank cell, enter the formula, equals index, A1, A10, match, true, A1, A10 less than 0, 0. Compare with finding the first positive number, just change the lookup value range A2 to A10 greater than 0 in the match function to the current A2 to A10 less than 0. Press enter to get the result. This formula searches for the first occurrence of a negative number in column A and returns that value. Find the last negative number by formula. Select a blank cell, enter the formula. Equals index A2, A10, max, if A2, A10 less than 0, row, A2, A10, minus row, A2, plus 1. 
As opposed to finding the last positive number, simply change the first argument, logical test. In the if function from a 2 to a 10 greater than 0 to a 2 to a 10 less than 0. Press enter to get the result. This formula searches for the last occurrence of a negative number in column A and returns that value. Thank you for watching.